Hey guys and welcome back to another HGTV Asian video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to use the FS Live Traffic as VATSIM model matching. It's so much easier to install and so much more effective. So without further ado I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get into it. So guys, step one of um, how to install it is it's actually backed by fly by wire so what you're going to want to do is is in update the fly by wire installer so open it up mine does it automatically but click up here and it will start the update as you can say mine's saying restart to update so mine's um, just doing that so if you click up there it's going to install it all and then when you reload it as you can see you've got some extra add-ons and then you've got FSLTL. So now I'm going to show you what to do with that after you've done that first step. Okay, so now that we're on um, the fly by wire installer, if you haven't already, as I showed just a second ago, go down to the third one here. It's like a little radar scanner and it'll bring you to this FSLTL page. And you're going to want to click on the base models as that's what we're going to be using. The injector is used um, to give you like immersive experience in terms of following traffic on flight radar 24 very cool if you want to check that out um, and then do do so but yeah for now we like fat sim we want to use it for fat sim so we're going to install the fs ltl traffic base models so come over to the green install button click install and download size is 3.5 gigabytes but the required disk space is 24.6 so make sure that which, to be fair, right, that's quite a lot lower than what AIG was. When I installed it with all the liveries, it had a easily 40 gigabytes. So this is a massive improvement. So we're going to hit install. And then perfect, that's downloading. So I'll be with you once the full package has finished downloading. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see, it's all installed, all good. Um, pretty simple, considering normally in AIG you have to go through and select all of them. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to go to our community folders. I have already uploaded my community folder ready to go for simple purposes. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll down and you're going to want to look for, where is it? FSLTL traffic base. Double click on it. And as you can see, normally we'd have to go on model matching magic and do all the hassle of inserting all the liveries like we did with AIG, making sure all the iCals are correct, that all the extras are selected, blah, 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 blah. With this, we don't. FSLTL underscore rules dot VMR. They've already given us a VMR file to use that has already been configured, everything like that. All we have to do is insert that into vPilot. So, load up vPilot, let it do its thing, go settings, if you have two sims, it will look like this. If not, just go to model matching, click the little plus, go custom rules, add custom rule set, locate your community folder. For me, it's in my E drive. Go back to that FSLT traffic base and click the VMR, click open and click apply. Click OK, close it down and you're ready to go. Simple as that nothing else is needed you it's sorted there you go go fly have some fun that's how much simpler it is than aig you can use a combination of the both but in this tutorial it is just going to be this and this only and from now on guys you're going to see me using this because it's so much more simpler so much less stress and if i have any problems with mfs i can just simply reinstall and not have to worry about oh no i've got to do aig all over again i'm not slating aig aig is amazing um very complex system though and very complicated to set up but yes without further ado some very fun facts quickly before i go fs ltl do have base models so if an airliner isn't showing up correctly for example or ryanair doesn't show up it will still show up as a 737 you just won't have a livery on it which is pretty cool because then you can still get the generic uh, models um but yes, without further ado, that's going to be all, guys. I hope that was uh, all good. Let me know if you have any questions. But for now, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.